Hi folks, David Creed of Craft House. I really enjoy working on math-based puzzles, particularly those that are both fun and might have a usefulness with the um, math teacher or the uh, homeschooler. And this, I hope, is one of them. We call it the Pythagorean Theorem Puzzle. Now, what is the Pythagorean Theorem? Well, the Pythagorean Theorem states that given any right triangle, and a right triangle has a 90 degree corner, that the uh, uh, the, the square of the b squared plus a squared equals c squared, where c is called the hypotenuse. It's the longest leg of the triangle. Now, can we prove that? Well, that becomes maybe the prime challenge of this puzzle. You can also tr use the puzzle to try to make different squares using eight. We've got eight different pieces here, but can you use the puzzle to prove the Pythagorean theorem? And I will provide instruction sheet. Uh, detailed that we show you three ways that uh, this can be done, and there are actually uh, many more. Um, let's look at one that can be explained visually without really getting into the mathematics too much. We've got these tri right triangles, and they're all the same, and then we have this square block of area c times c, or c squared. Now, the Pythagorean theorem says that c squared equals a squared plus b squared. Now these particular squares here are squares of dimension a, of, of size a, and this is ones of size b. So the Pythagorean theorem says that these two equal the area of this one. Well, we know that c fits in there just perfectly. Perhaps we can show that. And what, but watch what happens if I do this. I'll push this over here. I'll push this over here. And now, A will fit right there, and B will fit right there. So we have proven that A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Kind of neat, huh? Now there's other ways you can do it. Um, you can do it using this A minus B piece. Um, and I'm going to... Well, maybe I'll show you mathematically that one, just so you can get a feel for that, too. Um, let me set this up here. Okay, I've set this up. Such so we have made a smaller square here. And you'll notice that we've got a, an internal square uh, that has sides of the length A minus the length B. So it's a little smaller than B in this case. And we've made this perfect square. Now, can we use mathematics here to show that the Pythagorean theorem holds true? Well, let's, let's look at that. And this is part of the instruction sheet, so I'm going to try to show it to you. We know that we have a square of c times c, or c squared, right? We know that that square is composed of these five components. It is composed of a minus b squared, the length a minus b squared. And it's composed of four of these, all the same. And the area of each of these triangles would be a times b divided by 2. a times b would make a rectangle. a times b divided by 2 would make half the rectangle for this triangle. But we've got four of them. So we've got 4 times a times b divided by 2. So we know as a formula that c squared, the area of our big square, equals the area of our little square, a minus b squared, plus 4 times a times b divided by 2. Now it's just a function of using algebra to simplify that equation. We can simplify it to um, 4 divided by 2 is 2. Simplify it further, but if you break down an equation that has uh, a minus b squared, it is equal to a squared uh, minus 2ab plus b squared. And we keep this same 2ab. Uh, divide by uh, oh, the, a, the 2ab plus and the 2ab minus cancel out, and we end up with c squared equals a squared plus b squared. So by looking at this diagram, we have again proved Pythagorean's theorem. And there's one more way that I will give you uh, on the instruction sheet. So kind of fun. Um, 
I think. Uh, very well made. I, I've tried to make it school rugged. The base here is out of floorboard material, so it's scratch resistant, um, uh, water resistant, uh, not going to break or bend. And I've made the pieces out of um, uh, very fine uh, quarter inch thick birch plywood, so it's got some real st structural integrity to it. And I have laser engraved all the graphics you see here. It's not, it's not ink, it's not paint, it's not stamped, it's laser engraved. So it should, should last forever. Um, I've even noted inside the frame here, the frame is of course the length A plus B. So I'm sure uh, some of you uh, educators can, can find other ways to use these pieces to demonstrate other uh, algebraic or geometric uh, concepts. I hope so. And uh, uh, it was made right here in our Florida shop. And this is Dave at Creative Craft House. Thanks. I forgot to mention that this does come with a, with a cover. Uh, this cover will fit right over the top. These pieces will just go right here. And this will fit right over the top and protect everything so that you can put it away and come back another day. Okay? Thanks again.